Kick everybody out. KT, take a hike. It's the players <laughs> only. Go. Here we go. And we got a special one today. Kid that beat me up in uh, the AHL last year, my last year of my, yeah. my career. Quentin Byfield, what's up? We, what can we do to help you? Yeah. You. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I've been stuck at 19 goals, so uh, hopefully next thing we get to 20. Here it comes. We're giving you the, <laughs> we're giving you the bump. That's for <laughs> sure, buddy. And uh, sure. we had to ask you a quick question first because Perry got all excited because yeah, he saw you. We were Big music fan. Yeah, we're kind of creeping your Instagram, like all the little, LA Femininas are doing little. right now. But <laughs> you had a nice Grateful Dead T-shirt or sweater. And are you a fan of Grateful Dead, or you're like, I don't know who the hell these guys are? Just got great style. Yeah, no, it's just uh, it's great style, and it's just a collaboration with uh, Sherwood um, that we had. But uh, I don't really, I'm not familiar with the music or anything, so I can't talk about that. Well, you're two classics too. Like yeah, you're with right? Sherwood, like Sherwood and the Grateful Dead. How long? Do you always play with Sherwood your whole career? Um, it, it started during COVID. I was just, you know, test, just testing a bunch of different sticks, and um, you know, Sherwood was the one uh, that I felt the most comfortable and I was confident with, so I just kept going with that. Nice, I love it. Now, it's, now speaking of comfortable, I want to talk a little bit about your line mates, especially one that just got 1,200 points. What's it like playing with Anze Kopitar and, of course, of, the, of your Juice Kempe friend as well? Yeah, um, you know, playing with those two guys, is, um, it's been amazing, um, you know, just for uh, my career so far uh, as a young player. So um, just getting a nod to play with, you know, Kopi. He's had countless uh, milestones, um, you know, thus far this season. And, um, you know, he's so easy to play with. He's always in the right spot and making the right plays. Um, he's always reliable in every situation, so he's super easy to play with. And having Juice on, you know, on the other wing, um, just using his size, skill, speed, uh, it's amazing to play with those two guys. Have you have have you had any kind of like veteran kid moments? Because you know, Rob Blake was one of my was my first captain I played with, so I know a thing or two about playing with a a legend. And I played the power play with him my first year, and. I think I was battling in the corner, one of the shifts, and the puck gets dumped all the way down, and I was the one that's supposed to carry the puck up. So I kind of, kind of ho hummed it back. I was going slow, and Bobby Blake just stood in the corner, staring at me, and just pointed at the puck and was like, "You're, you're taking it up, kid." So I got back to the bench. I was like, "Sorry, Bobby, I was tired." He's like, "Hey, just so you know, kid, I don't carry the puck up. That is all you." So I don't know if Kopey's giving you any of those, like, "Hey, kid, like." Like, come on, get off my back here. It's you're carrying us. Yeah, no, uh, I don't know if I've had any uh, ones like that. I think Kopi's a little bit more nicer to me, I guess. But um, he's he's always helping me out with just everything. You know, trying to keep my, um, you know, kind of keep me in the game. You know, making the right plays, making the right reads. Um, you know, keeping me calm, not getting frustrated. So he's always just talking to me in that way. But um, you know, he loves having the puck on his stick. So I just try to give it to him as much as he can. Any t any tip he's given you that, like, was just invaluable that you're like, just a guy like that thinking the game and and anything that he kind of said like, hey, this is something I do that you've kind of adopted into your game. Yeah, it was um you know just using my body more like he he protects the puck super well um you know in the corners just you know using his body getting his big frame um and guys can't get around him so he kind of just told me to start doing that a little bit more and I feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, just protecting pucks in that way. And then um, when I was playing center too, you know, a little bit earlier on, I made a ton of face-offs, you know, just, I was just trying to chew his ear as much as I can, just, you know, because his numbers have been amazing um, for face-off signs. So he, he sold me in those two parts very much. Uh, and Quinn, you, you, you started with the pandemic, was your rookie year. Now, obviously, there's a lot of adjustments and adjusting that goes on just to getting into the NHL. Talk about going through that. Yeah, that was, it was super hard. It was all super, um, all, all a lot different. Like, there's no fans, you know, in the crowd. I was playing with Ontario Rain, um, you know, for most of the year. Uh, we were playing in the practice ring, so that was tough. And then, um, you know, got called up to play, um, you know, on the big squad and uh, no fans. You know, my family wasn't there to see my first game. So it, it was all really difficult just adjusting, you know, on ice hockey and then also off ice. You, I moved here. I was living by myself for my first time. Um, you know, everything was shut down. So it, it was hard to adjust to that. But once, you know, everything started opening up, you can hang out with your teammates. It made it a lot easier 
uh, you know, kind of adjust and get in the swing of things. Yeah, when did your when did your family, when was the first game they got to see you? Because you said your family didn't get to see your first game. When was the first game they saw you? That must have been special. Yeah, that was awesome. They um they came, they're there for my uh, my first shootout goal, actually. It was against the New York Rangers, so they're there. And then um, that was the first game they got to see was in Not MSG, real. which was, awesome. was pretty cool. And then um, I ended up scoring my first NHL goal the next game, but they missed that one. So um, they got to experience a little bit of that road trip. Shootout's well, better. I was just saying, in their mind, I'm pretty sure they saw your first yeah, NHL goal. Yeah, GW's yeah, nice. Yeah, that's, and that's, that's the that's shootout, the lights you, yeah. are on you, Come bright on. lights. Oh, that's baby. The one you want just <laughs> I, I might go play now. That, I might that, get back in the league. Yeah, the other, for the first goal, that's more your memory. That's a yeah. better memory for them. You talk about a change in, uh, in lifestyle. I know I was a guy coming from Minnesota. I got to play in Miami my first couple of years, so... Ooh. I kind of made my way out on the I beach. Am, I'm assuming son. you get out of that chair every now and then, stop gaming, and maybe get out in some sun. Yeah, yeah. No, I try my best to, um, you know, not stay in the house all day. The the weather is always amazing here. Um, so it's just trying to go down the beach, uh, you know, go for walks, you know, along the pier, uh, little things like that. And then whenever I can go off, you know, try to get out there as much as well. Do you ever do uh, any like beach workouts at Gold's Gym? Do you get oh, down there and the outdoor? I heard outdoor, you're a pretty yeah. good fitness. You're a pretty good fitness guy. I, I... <laughs> yeah, uh, no, during the season, not too much, but um, you know, during oh, the off season, oh, like that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Some guys on this. Whoa, whoa. ESPN oh, body man. issue. We are calling. Look at this. We are that looks calling. like it's... Oh yeah, right oh, out there on the beach. Is that is that Mason McTavish? Oh, that's Forster, actually. That's oh, nice geez, Forster, those almost so. look the same. Yeah, but no, those those are good ones. Those are, uh, that's back in Toronto. Um, you try to go out, do, you know, different styles, change up the scenery, um, you know, have some fun with the workouts in the summer. So uh, try to do that as much as we can. Got to get a little beach volleyball down in Manhattan Beach, though, I hope, every now and again. Yeah, um, we, we haven't had too many games this year, but, um, you know, after the season, we, we play, you know, a decent amount, um, have fun out there. That's awesome, man. Where, where are you? What position are you in the? Are you net? Uh, yeah, I'm usually on the net. Yeah, he's got the uh, height. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah. You never know. I don't That's know. Little guys, I was always on the back. I knew to, my role. Yeah. I, I could have told him that. I knew where I, he was. I saw just the upper body shirtless <laughs> pics. So I don't know if the legs are. <laughs> I know he could move out there. So we had some net front battles in Baco. But no, uh, <laughs> Quinn, we play this fun little game at the end. We call it What Were You Thinking? We have these little pictures, and you kind of tell us what this is and what's going on. So uh, when uh, my graphics people are ready in the back, they're going to roll. So here's the first one. Tell us, what were you thinking? Oh, yeah, that, that was a crazy, um, that was a crazy goal. I, I picked it up in the D zone. I was just, I saw I was just one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you know, I saw Renzi, you know, kind of coming at me. Uh, I honestly thought he was going to hit me there, so I just wanted to make a quick move. And then um, it all just happened so fast, you know, the stick lift. You know, the kick to the foot. Um, it all just happened so fast, and it uh, worked out. Thank, hey, <laughs> thank God. But uh, hang on know. a minute. Hey. Hang on a minute. You said that was like, hey, a decent goal. That's Wait. that is what I like to call. That's the goal of the year right now. If, <laughs> if not like a top three, like what are you talking about? It's so casual yeah. about that. I scored some crazy goals. All right, I never scored any goals like that. Are you kidding me? Look at this. The footwork, you got little soccer skills in there too. If you do half I mean, of that, are you kidding me? I mean, you, you still keep your balance enough to get it up over the goalie, the wherewithal. Oh, there's kids online. Like there's, crazy goal like there's that. kids online gaming that play NHL that they'll be like, clip it. Yeah, where's, clip where's, it. The, where's the button for the byfield? <laughs> no, that was uh, no. I didn't really know what was going on. It's kind of a, one of those ones where you just black out and you know just try to just keep going and. Ended up working out in my favor. That's a young skill. Let's uh, let's see the next one. Oh, beauty. Uh -huh. I don't know if I'm in that picture, but, um, you know, just playing the World Juniors, that it was an unbelievable experience. I got to be able to, you know, do that twice. But, um, you know, that's the first time. That's the first time we, uh, we won the gold medal, you know, overseas. Um, it, was, it was an awesome experience. And uh, we, we had a great team here. And then this is Akil, uh, you know, scoring the game winner. That, that was late in the third period as well. You know, he didn't get much shifts. And then um, for him to go out and do that was, it was so special. Yeah, what does it mean yeah. to kind of represent your country? And I, I got to, no big deal, playing the Olympics. But uh, 
<laughs> I did some world championships yeah. too, Spangler I, I, Cup. I, I, I was going to say, I, 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 I want to know, I, I know how it feels to win a silver medal <laughs> in the World Juniors. I'd like to know how it feels to win a gold medal. Yeah, yeah no, I, I won the silver medal um, my second year, uh, my second go around. So I know that feeling too. It's, it's, not, too, it's not too fun, but, um, you know, winning the gold medal, anytime you represent your country, um, it's an honor, a special experience. So uh, you always try to play your hardest, and um, you're not just playing for yourself or your team. You're playing for you know the whole country. So um, you're trying to represent them as best as you can, and then when that gold medal is uh, is really special, and um, it was a really special group of guys as well. Keep going, keep pushing, man, because I'd love to see you in the Olympics. That'd be <laughs> unbelievable as well. So let's see the next one. How was yeah, that that's feeling? The- Oh, that was unbelievable. Um, I remember that too. It was, I think the day before or a couple of days before was the draft and it was all online. So um, it was, it was during COVID. You couldn't have too many people over. So it was just, you know, my immediate family members. And um, I was sitting on that couch and I had no idea, you know, who was going to select me there. Um, I was just thinking it's going to be a life-changing experience. You know, this is where I'm going to go play for the rest of my career. So, um, you know, luckily it was, you know, LA and, um, you know, proud to be here. And then, um, being able to sign that contract, you know, with my family around me was, um, you know, very special. That's from Sudbury to Hermosa right. to the oh. Bottle Inn. Are you <laughs> eating at the Bottle Inn yet? Little Italian food out there? Oh, oh, it's a Bottle Inn's, uh, you know, one of the best pasta spots out here. Too. It's the best. Yeah. Let's uh, check the next one here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a I'm a Halloween guy. I'm a Halloween guy. I love this. Go yeah, on. No, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, no, that was awesome. Um, yeah, no, the, the the guys were giving us, you know, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of chirps in there just because they always say the young guys, you know, don't make too much effort in costumes and, um, you know, go out and find that. And, it's true. Um, <laughs> it, so, yeah, it is true. And that was a little bit – we are still late on that. We got that maybe a day before Halloween. Um, that, that was me, Spence, and uh, LaFerrier as well. Um, he We just went as the Incredibles and – uh, it was pretty funny, you know. A lot of people like that. Who who is that on your back? Oh, that was Spence. Oh, that's that's another Halloween outfit. That's um, that good. Was... Those are you're two for two. Like that's, that's you, you. You. Who's the cat? Who's the cat? That's last minute, but you put some thought into it. Yeah, this this one uh, we took a lot of thought into. This is actually Cal Pearson. We were roommates uh, my first year, so uh, we wanted to do something fun, and uh, we, we came up to this. He actually he he worked on that. Um, you know, caddy outfit for a while. Like he, he put everything on that. You know, had to go try and find it. So uh, his was very difficult to do, but mine was pretty easy. Just had to uh, pull out the Sunday red and put on the vest, and it was all there. So, but how is the golf game to go along with the outfit? Some good tracks out there. Uh, there's some beautiful courses up here, but um, during the season, my golf game is uh, the boys will tell you it's it's not very good at all. But do you, um, do you play? It's not do you, the right thing. Yeah, do you play a bit in the, the season? Because I know it's it's kind of hit or miss. Some guys love to play. I have played with guys that need to play and other guys just to get away from the game, and I have other guys that were like, don't touch it. Yeah, no, I I like to play as much as I can. Like, there's some off days where, you know, you get in late where you, you want to sleep and, um, you know, do different stuff like that, take care of your body. But um, as much as I can, I try to go on the golf course, you know, just to disconnect from hockey. Um, as much as you can, and uh, you know, have fun out there. So um, I wouldn't say I play a ton, but uh, whenever I got an opportunity, I try to go. We got the we got the players only bump. So I'm putting an anytime goal. I'm I'm betting the house on you tomorrow, or whenever your next game is. So thanks for coming on, buddy, and uh, keep it rolling, man. It's fun to watch uh, these young guys take over the league. I love it. Yeah, no, appreciate it. Appreciate you guys having me. Thank you. Yeah, keep scoring those crazy goals.